Hola, and thanks for tuning in to High Plains Passport as the conversation with Marlon continues in part two of Miraflor, Nicaragua. If the food on the table does not come from the flourish in his garden, it likely comes from a neighbor. The village is set up to be sustainable within, without a supermarket. For example, if we produce tomatoes, uh, potatoes, banana, coffee, uh, we don't need to go to the supermarket and to buy this product. So it's better for the economy and the families because we have uh, better food in the kitchen for the family and the, for the visitors. Throughout my time with Marlon, he frequently uses the word visitor and tourism. And I feel as though he's about to be highly honest with me. Tourism is needed, yes, he knows this, and that makes him somewhat nostalgic. There are advantages and this disadvantages, uh -huh. because Sometimes I am scared to learn our culture. <laughs> no, yeah, because I love Nicaragua and I love my food and I love my culture. We have visitors and visitors and visitors. We can to change and sometimes we can to conserve different things in a country, but sometimes we can lose. Uh, Things. I have a friend back home, Alejandra. We once had this conversation that she originally had with her boyfriend about poverty. The proposed notion was this. Are impoverished children in third world countries less imprisoned simply because of the margin of affluence? If you had nothing, would you rather not know what you could have? Or know what you could have and not touch it? I think that Marlon is somewhere in between here. By most standards, he is a man in poverty, but it is difficult to call a man with such riches poor. Nothing is really broken, so nothing really needs to be fixed. But could things be better? For example, Marlin proclaims of the fact that his village has a doctor. It's very, very rare in the countryside in Nicaragua because normally the people need to go to the town for medicine, but we have doctor twice a week here. Nurse. Mm -hmm. One thing that Marlon does know is that education about the land will never hurt him. So he continues to learn things like soil conservation. Soil conservation, protect the uh, wild animals, and protect the water. All the important uh, things produce uh, coffee and vegetables and corn, only organic. When it comes to the land, he will do anything that he can. And when it comes to the kids, I think he would battle until the end, especially for education. It is amazing the things that we take for granted, like at least we have schools for our children, running water, supermarkets. Marlon doesn't have any of these luxuries or conveniences to us, so convenient that sometimes they are actually inconvenient. Please don't misjudge what I'm saying and think that I'm feeling sympathy for my newfound friend. No. Quite the opposite. For richness doesn't always come in the form of finance, but fellowship. <laughs> Miraflor has been amazing. This place has bred some really beautiful people. The bus, thankfully running today, rolls us back down the mountains into Esteli and onward. I'm taking with me a handful of meaningful memories from Miraflor, and I will continue to carry with me hope for Marlin, his family, and the rest of the region, that they continue to walk gracefully into the one thing that stays the same, change. High Plains Passport is written and produced by Valerie Smith for High Plains Public Radio. Music from Jose Gonzalez and myself. Many thanks this week to Alejandro Juarez. Happy New Year, everyone. Feliz Año Nuevo. Discover more on HPPR.org.